Hi, welcome to Boxy Outdoors. As you see in the title, we got a hunting setup on a budget. Are you guys tired of seeing these videos out there that say on a budget? And the first thing they show you is a main camera that costs anywhere from $500 to $1,000. I'm gonna show you a hunting setup on a budget. Let's get into this. I got the camera arm out. Let's start with the camera arm first. Okay, so this is the muddy uh, camera arm. It is the hunt hard camera arm. Got this on Amazon. Guys, $51. Okay, now this is a friction head, 24 inch length. Remember, I don't need anything longer than that. I am in a saddle, so camera's gonna be right in front of me and I can go around the tree anywhere I want. So keep that in mind. If you're a tree stand, uh, you might want to go with a different uh, camera arm. However, guys, uh, there's the Hawk um, camera arm out there as well. Right around, I think, 60 some dollars. It actually has, I guess, a fluid head. Uh, the whole thing of this uh, video, guys, is to get a hunting setup as cheap as possible with quality equipment that you can actually film and bring these to YouTube and share your passion. So I took it out of there, very simple. It comes, it's got a bolt that comes up here. It's got a uh, hex head on it. Comes up through, you spin this little knob onto here, you put your extension on, and then uh, you put your uh, fluid head on, or while well, your your head on there. This is a friction head, uh, like I said. Um, so um, it will move. Um, so there you have it. Um, So that's the camera arm guys, uh, like I said, $51. Set this off to the side, here's actually what goes to the tree. They do got a pretty heavy ratchet strap. Um, what I would like to see is maybe if um, if I can use a cam buckle uh, for this. You know, I just uh, took some off of my Hawk Helium sticks because I'm going to that VersaLink. So be watching out for that video. Maybe I can use one of those straps for this right here, guys, and uh, I would lose the weight of this, and yet uh, this here is actually what puts the tension uh, from the tree. All right, next thing we wanna do is get into that camera, okay? So let's take a look at this camera. Uh, I'm gonna go over a few things with it, and uh, we'll keep going. For the camera, you guys can see here, I got a Sony, Sony camera here. There's multiple, multiple cameras out there. You're gonna wanna get, I feel, at least a brand name. Uh, I made the mistake getting a, um, a knockoff type camera and it's basically what it is. Um, so some things that I was looking in a camera was I wanted to have, and I apologize for this win guys, but Boxy only has a certain amount of time to uh, get videos out. So um, we're gonna deal with this win. My main thing was I wanted to get something that had a 30 times optical zoom. The digital zoom um, didn't matter to me as much. Because uh, once you start getting that into that digital zoom, you're gonna start pixelating. The other thing that I wanted was to make sure that I would be able to set up a Lank C or Lank, Land C, whatever they call that, um, for the ability to zoom in, hit the record button all by my thumb, turn it, turn it on as well. The budget side of this. So I wanted to try to keep it under $300 for my main camera, okay? Now, if you're if you're looking for the quality of a TV show, or you're looking for pristine quality, 
then you're going to need to go to a camera that's going to be that 500 or something over. Now, you want to look into the refurbished and stuff. You can get some of those nice cameras. Uh, I found that the cheapest one that I was trying to bid on on eBay went for 470. The problem with that is, is I do not feel that is a budget for you guys. I'm showing you guys a quality setup at a budget. I got this camera for $157. Of course, it was eBay. So let me tell you a little bit about this camera. It's new. It was in the person's um, closet. They didn't use it. It is a Sony HDR PJ350. Okay, PJ stands for projection, and I'll show you that on this camera. So, the only thing that this camera doesn't have that I was looking for is either a cold shoe mic, so I can put my shotgun mic on there, so I can have an external mic, or a hot shoe. Now, they do make a PJ540. They were north of $300. I did try to uh, get one for a, a best offer. I tried to get it for $200. Uh, they did not accept that. Again, I'm looking for budget, $157. So $51 for my camera arm, $157 for my camera. So we're at what, $208 dollars right now guys two hundred and eight dollars i want you guys to think about that so let me show you this um i got a very i think i got a very good deal guys um this camera um a couple things it does come with it came with all the cables so um here is the charging cable okay um this is the hdmi cable this is uh to help the projection and stuff i want you guys to see that this is factory wrapped yet this was never used again off of ebay a lot of times you don't get the owner's manual and here guys is the camera itself okay still got the stickers on it all right so not sure if you're going to be able to see that it does have a 30x zoom it doesn't have a cold shoe or a um, hot shoe. The other thing is this multi port that it has, that's what I'm gonna set my remote up to. And we'll get in we'll get into that remote here in a minute. I'll talk about that a little bit. So um open the camera up. Here is the projection. So I can actually take videos with this and then I can project it onto a wall for people to watch or I can actually hook with that HDMI cable, I can hook my computer into this and actually go from my computer and I can project something off of my computer screen. So that's just something that kind of goes with this. Um, so, you know, if I'm, you know, out on a hunt or something like that and we want to do the video footage and stuff and I want to actually uh, zoom in maybe to see... Um, where my shot placement was and stuff, I'll actually be able to, just right from this thing here, I can actually cast that onto a wall or something and we can actually watch that footage, okay? Um, so it does come with uh, a battery here. It's about an hour and 45 minute run time. Um, I will try to purchase some extended life batteries. I'm finding them uh, aftermarket uh, anywhere from 25, probably to $50. So. Um, we can probably add that in if you would like. Um, so we're at 257 uh, once once I get that. Um, it does have on the side here. It has um, SD card up to 64. Um, I think it's gigabytes. And then um, there is the HDMI in and the projection out. Um, so guys, um, I'm going to do a test on on this. Um, you're going to see me use this camera. Um, the zoom on it already, I know I can zoom almost 500 feet. So I don't know what that is in yardage, but um, I can zoom right into something in my neighbor's yard two roads over that I cannot see from my naked eye. So I know my zoom feature is going to be great. 
I am going to be able to hook up a remote to it. The only thing is everything is going to be internal audio, okay? So I got to check that out. But personally, guys, half the time when you watch a video of a guy out there hunting, yeah, you're going to hear the tweed birds and all that stuff. So that's going to be nice. That's going to be nice to hear. I might be able to pick that up on my secondary cameras. I am going to be running a GoPro, and I will be running a secondary camera as well. Other than that, people usually cover it up with music. You hear music watching the video as something's coming in, you know? So, um, what's nice about this, so it charges right here. So if I buy the external batteries, it'll probably come with a charger. So I'll be able to charge that there. But uh, these cameras actually come with this charger here and you just plug this into it. And then this plugs into the wall. So uh, pretty neat uh, uh, what Sony does with those handy cams. So, um, Let's get into this remote, okay guys? So here it is guys, uh, out of the package. What I want to let you know is what I purchased here was the Sony actual remote commander. It's called an RM-VPR1. Uh, what I had to do was make sure that I had the multi port, okay? can't be the 35 millimeter port it has to be the multi port so guys what I can do is over on this camera you want to make sure that the camera is turned off I open up my multi port I get my I put that in so once I open this up so the camera is on and with a flick of this button I should be able to turn it off as it did okay so from this remote I can turn it on Give me a second guys and I'm gonna set this up on that camera arm and I'm gonna show you a little bit about this. I'll show you how it functions. And uh, I want you to know that now this, this here was a little bit pricey. It cost uh, $59. So with everything that I got here guys, I told you I was looking to keep it under or about 300 just for my main camera. I was able to have this set up for $317. I wasn't lying at the beginning of this when I said, I'm going to show you a budget. Let's see how this camera is going to perform for us. I'm going to show you just a little bit off the tripod, and then we're going to go over to the tree, and we're going to get this set up like I would use in a hunting setup, of course, down at ground level. So hopefully we'll get some birds around in the area that I can zoom in on and uh, make it kind of look like a um, hunting video, I guess. So, um, all right guys, let me change this out and uh, get this camera up on the uh, tripod. And I'm gonna show you a little bit about the, 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 view, uh, the zoom features of it and um, the quality. So we will hear audio from it. And then of course we will see the actual um, video quality too. Um, one other thing um, I didn't show you guys was uh, Muddy, of course, with your arm, gives me a uh, sticker as well. So we'll have to find something uh, nice to put that on, um, whether it goes on my truck or uh, it goes on maybe my bow case or something like that. So Let's check out this camera. So we have the camera guys up here on the tripod. As you see, I'm just pointing to the back of my property. Um, there's actually a road back there. You can see uh, the telephone pole. And then on the following, there's another road back there. So I do know that these lots are 205 feet deep. So just from my back property to the back property of that house at the second road would be 400 feet. So this item that I'm gonna zoom in is in their front yard which is another 200 feet. So 600 feet, I'm not gonna do the calculation. You can figure out how many yards that is. This camera does have 
uh, 350x digital zoom. So I will show you guys. Um, I have my remote set up, and um, I can hit, I hit the button. It put it started recording, and now I'm going to show as um, I zoom in. I'm hoping it's going to be stable enough. You can see it's actually got two speeds. You can zoom very slowly, and then you can zoom rapidly. So I will uh, try to uh, zoom with both speeds. Hopefully, uh, standing behind the video, you can hear my voice, and then I will come out in front of it and speak and see how the internal mic does for me. So here we go. Um, you can see that I am zooming in. I am zooming at a very slow speed speed the harder you push the faster it zooms so let's give it some more zoom and so what I'm finding out is I need to raise that up I'm trying to zoom in on this item that I got here can you guys see that? I'm not zoomed in all the way yet, guys. So there you have it. I'm zoomed all the way in, of course. Um, it's a butterfly, guys. So let me zoom out and hold this here and just show you how far that zoomed in. As we zoom out. There's the zoom, guys. So it looks like pretty good audio or uh, video quality until I get right in the last half of it. Um, and you can see it's a lot harder for me to hold. Um, there's all the way zoomed in. So when I get it out, even right there, guys, I got good uh, video quality. Again, there's all the way zoomed out. So as far as audio, I'm back in front of my camera, guys. Here's the audio, probably five feet away. So I'm gonna just keep walking back, talking to you guys, kind of see if I can go to the end of my property. That's gonna be roughly 25 feet. See if you can uh, hear me. I am talking at a little bit elevated voice. But I am on my property line right here, guys, and uh, hopefully we'll check out the audio. Um, I'm testing this right along with you guys, so I'll hear it before you because I'm going to be doing the editing. However, uh, let's get this camera arm set up in the tree and uh, show you my setup uh, for this year. Remember, guys, I did this for $317. I'm talking budget there, buddy. I said just, just under uh, waist high. Uh, I'm going to have to work with it. Um, that keeps it actually down about waist high as far as the camera goes. Um, remember, I'm going to be sitting into a tree where I'm expecting the deer to come from that direction. Now, the plan is I'll have the camera here and uh, I can actually go. all the way around my tree, actually, and actually be videotaping you guys. What I can also do is bring it around in front of me, and I can go around that, that, that direction as well. So, I got a lot of range here, guys. Um, you know, if that deer's coming in and uh, I gotta maneuver myself around for a shot, you know, I gotta come around the tree here. I'm still right here in frame. Hopefully I can bring my bow up. I'll be right like this. I'll be shooting. You're seeing my back right now, but um, any any of this, uh, I think this is going to be a good setup. I'm going to turn it on right now. Here comes in behind me. I'm walking around my tree. So 
there it is guys there's a the setup remember three hundred and seventeen dollars and that is if I pay fifty dollars for some extended life batteries I want to get two with the charger uh, I've been seeing them anywhere between 25 and 30 so I can have this self-filming setup for under 300 bucks we're gonna use it this year so be watching for my videos guys and see how this uh, setup goes see what my quality is like I want to thank each and every one of you for coming in here if you're new hit that thumbs up subscribe to this channel leave me a comment so I can come back and check your channel out for my faithful supporters I want to thank you for everything that you do for me and my channel again guys have a blessed day keep sharing your passion